Welcome to Backstage at Miller. Hello, Eric. Oh, this is exciting back here at, at Miller. Now, you guys get so many. You're the stage manager, right? I am. And you get so many shows here, and there's lots of reasons for that, right? This, these big doors. What, what, what has come through some of these big doors here at Miller? Uh, in the last couple of years, we've had The Lion King, Phantom. Most recently, we had the production of Grinch. Yeah. Um, they were here to mount their production for this season. Um, as well as do all their technical rehearsals. Yeah. Um, so there was, there was a lot to set up. There was a lot of people here working for a great many days um, to, to have some great shows. Okay, well show me some of the more exciting things behind stage. Here with Tracy Lally from Miller Auditorium. You are the director. I am. And uh, bringing to town Dr. Seuss, um, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yes. Big production, a fun production. I mean, tell me a little bit, first of all, how Miller even got that show. Well, we work with a Broadway presenting partner. Many uh, theaters do across the country, and they help us select which shows we want to bring in each year. And it's kind of a fine-tuned dance because we have to schedule four to five of these shows um, within our season, and we have to find the right time period to put them in, and we have to hope that that <laughs> time period works with the right. tour time period. And once all of that is set, um, then we lock that in and get the contract going. But it's it's it takes about a year, sometimes two years. Like we're working already for next season and the season after. Unbelievable. Okay, so Eric, we are backstage in Miller Auditorium, the power machine. There's like six different numbers, so it's stage power one through six. What does that mean? They're all separated, so they all feed the same amount of power, uh, but we can send it to several different locations this way, basically. Um, in that lighting takes its own power, automation needs its own power, audio needs its own power, and all of these have wow large amounts of power that they can wind up using. Um, this is one of the things that makes Miller unique is just having this much power available backstage. What would a house use? Uh, <laughs> uh, one of these could probably power several houses. Wow, unbelievable. But these cables. Ooh, that's heavy. Yeah, it's a good bit of cable. What is this, 10 pounds maybe, 20? Yeah, about 10. <laughs> And go ahead and plug it in. Let me see what that's like. All right, so what we have here is actually a modified version. It's modified for safety, for right, locking. Right. So there's redundant safeties here. Um, this will take and key into a very specific point. And now that the ground is plugged in, it actually releases the next one. Um, so you cannot open <gasps> any of these right. until the previous one has been plugged in yeah, as, um, a safety. as another safety. And there's kids in this show, which I, it never really, I ne it didn't dawn on me, right? That, okay, what hap how does that happen? With the, aren't they in school? Well, a lot of theater kids travel with shows. We've actually had several shows throughout the years that have had kids travel with them. Um, and we have two this season. So um, they travel with a teacher who actually holds school in either our building somewhere or in the hotel where they stay. And some parents homeschool their kids and they travel with. Um, the kids definitely still get schooling and they get really fun activities. We've got lots of great things in Kalamazoo. They go to the Air Zoo, the Car Museum, <laughs> the Kalamazoo Institute of Art. They've gone everywhere. Tell me where we're at right now. I see these things, black legs, black border, main curtain, main border. What, what does it all mean? So out above the stage, there are pipes hanging and we try tie all sorts of drapery onto them, all of the backdrops. Okay. Um, so as you're sitting there watching and, and the lights go down and then when they come back up, you're, you're transported to a totally different right, place. Right. All of the legs, all of, all of those are controlled by these ropes behind us. Amazing. Um, we have 59 of them here in Miller, <laughs> uh, which is, is more than a lot of places and yeah. more than anywhere else around here. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite moments is always you're sitting in the house, you're waiting for the show to start, the lights go down, and you see the main curtain yes, fly. Yes, yes. You want me to show you what that looks like back here? That. And how much is this going to weigh when you're pulling that? Because that curtain's got to be heavy. Um, our main curtain weighs 1,600 pounds. So there are 1,600 pounds hanging on either side of this row yeah. that we're about to move. So you have muscles. So the first thing... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the first thing we do is remove the locking ring, okay. there for safety. Right. Um, then the brake, also there for safety. Okay. Now you can actually move this. So to make the main curtain fly out, you just pull down on this back rope here. Right. And you'll see all of the counterweight for it coming down towards oh us. Oh my gosh. And that's a long, long ways down there too. 
Um, one of the great things is at Miller, we have a 14 foot deep well, which lets us actually fly things all the way out. Can I try pulling that rope? Absolutely. I don't know that I can do it if it's that, Absolutely. If it's that heavy. So the first thing we're going to do again is take the brake back okay. off okay. and okay. just try and pull down on this rope here. Try and pull down try. is the key. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the curtain would be going up very slow. <laughs> and just like that, you just move 1600 pounds. Yeah. Let's try. Oh my, it gets heavier the higher it <laughs> the higher it goes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. With a little Eric. practice. We'll have you running <laughs> shows back here. You're such a show off, no I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, was there ever a time when you had a show come in and you had to change everything up? Like it just didn't, the pieces didn't fit. Um, we've had lots of fun moments with that throughout the years. You know, Miller's been around for 50 years. One of my favorite stories, we had Lion King a few years ago, and when we had Lion King, um, the intro of the show is an animal procession going through your house. Yeah. Well, to have that, we had to remove a few hundred seats to create aisleways <laughs> for the animals to walk down. Yes. Um, we could have done it without that, but in my opinion, Lion King's not the same without that opening scene. And when I saw it for the first time, I was sitting on an aisle and I had my foot sitting out and all of a sudden I felt something hit. And I looked down and it's an elephant foot and there's this elephant yeah. coming right down. I had to move my <laughs> foot back. And I'm not ashamed to say I cried. Yeah. When I saw the giraffes walk out and the elephant and the rhinoceros and the cheetahs and everything, um, what they had created yeah. to put on stage was so amazing. I felt a little foolish sitting in the house crying, but then I looked around and saw other people kind of like oh, yeah. doing the same thing. And that's what theater can do. It can move you to many emotions. So we, we covered how to lift it up in the air. There is one little secret I wanted to show you okay. here at Miller. Okay. Go ahead and push that open button. This is how we like to open the curtain here. Uh. And if you look behind you, you'll see the curtain. <laughs> Parts revealing now our stage. Now that's my kind of backstage assistance. I love it. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.